In this video, I'm going to show you all how to make a drum loop in Caustic 3. First things first, we're going to lower the BPM. We're going to make it around 80. Yeah, let's keep it at 80. I'm going to go back right here. I'm going to open and launch a machine. So you click up here or tap up here. We're going to open up a beatbox. We're going to open up three of these. Next, we are going to rename the beatbox. So you press and hold the name beatbox, and this will be Kicks. This will be Snares. And this will be Hats or for hi hats. We're going to go to Kicks. We're going to load a kit. So we're going to load a J Dilla Kicks beatbox kit. Hit load. We have the kicks here. You can hear them right here. Next, we're going to load a snares kit. And here they are right here. And last, we're going to open up a hats kick. Hats kit. Here they are right here. All right. And then next, we're going to lay out the pattern. So put a kick right here, kick right here. We can go to the snares. We're going to use this one right here. So this is the second row. hats and we're going to use this sound right here scroll down and this is the third row lay these out just like this then we're going to press play and see how it sounds Yep. Now, if you want to control the volume, all you want to do is just go back to wherever kit that you want that you laid out the sounds. Like right now, I'm in the hi hats. I want to just lower the volume or velocity of these hats just a little bit. All right, let's see how it sounds now. I'm going to adjust it a little more. Now, if you want to adjust the timing a little bit, if you don't want it so rigid, we can take off quantize. You go right up here to this button grid, and you hit quantize. Right now, it is quantized because it is lit up. You press it, and now we can move it freely. want to sound a little early, if you want to sound a little late, and that's about it. If you would like these sounds, go to the description section of this video, and you can get these J Dilla drum sounds. All you got to do is just add them to your beatbox presets folder and caustic. Thank you very much for watching, and let me know what you want to learn in the next video. Peace.